Hey guys, this is Alan, and I'm back with episode 2 on how to read Thai. Last episode, we learned to read Tom Yam Gong. This time, let's get some rice to go with that soup. Today's word is Khao Soi, which means plain steamed rice. So just like last time, we're going to separate the consonants in blue, the vowels in red, and the tone markers in green. But let's take out the vowels and the tone markers for now. And our first letter is going to be this one that looks like a long skinny milk carton. This letter makes the k sound, just like the letter k. But there's a few other letters that look very similar to this one. Now the important thing to notice with this letter is how thin the letter is. In fact, many ties will write it with a pointy bottom, like a v-shape. Once again, this makes the k sound. Now the next letter is basically the same shape, but it's written wider. This makes the b sound, and it's the same as the letter b. Finally, this last letter is the same as the previous letter, but it goes up a little longer on the right side. This letter makes the b sound, and that sounds like a cross between a b and a p. Getting back to our word kao soi, the next letter makes the s sound, and it sounds like the letter s. It also has a letter that looks very similar to it, which is this one. This makes the l sound, and it sounds like the letter L. Can you spot the difference between these two letters? Our S sounding letter is actually the same symbol, but it has a small line that goes through the top. And finally, the last letter makes the Y sound, like the letter Y. We already saw this letter in our last episode. Alright, we've got all the consonants out of the way now. Let's fill in the vowels in red. Our first vowel is a combination of two letters. This cane-looking shape, if that cane-looking shape has this ear-looking shape with a curl at the bottom coming right afterwards, you get the long vowel, ow. For our second vowel, we have just the ear-looking shape with the curl at the bottom by itself in between two consonants. In that case, it makes the long vowel, ua. Can you guess how we would read this word so far? Kao soi would be a good guess. All the sounds are correct, but there's still something wrong with the tones. In the last episode, we talked about classes. In case you forgot, in Thai, each letter is either a high class, a middle class, or a low class. We've already seen two examples of a middle class letter. Today we have two examples of a high class letter, the K sound and the S sound. Now here comes the important part. A high class letter without a tone marker will have a rising tone. So going back to our original word, we thought we had the words cow and soy. But now we know that since our skinny milk carton letter is a high class letter, we need to use the rising tone. So we get cow. And the same thing with our S letter. Since it's also a high class letter, we use the rising tone and we get the word soy. So all together we get kao soy. Now there's just one last step to take care of. Let's go ahead and show the tone markers in green. It's the same tone marker we used in the last episode. It shows up here above our K sound letter, which we just said is a high class letter. And a high class letter with this tone marker produces a falling tone. If you'd like to check that, we can go back to that chart we showed you guys last episode. When we go along the chart where it says high class and find the column with our tone marker, we see that we should use the falling tone. So for our first word, we use the falling tone and we get the word cow. And we still use the rising tone for the word soy. Altogether, we get cow soy. Congratulations! We now know how to read the word for steamed rice. Stay tuned for next time when we choose a drink to go with our yummy Thai food.